You know, if that's you, just put your hand up. Okay, great. You all have your hands up. Why? Because you're human beings, and all human beings uh, have moments where they struggle with uh, self-control. Hi team, it's me, Christopher Lawrence with changemylifecoaching.ca. I am a career and life coach and I wanted to ask you a question. Do you have failures of self-control? Uh, so this would be like, I'm trying to establish a new goal, establish a new habit, and maybe you're trying to find a new job but you don't have a good habit of like applying for jobs, uh, that kind of thing. And... Um, you know, if that's you, just put your hand up. Okay, great. You all have your hands up. Why? Because you're human beings, and all human beings uh, have moments where they struggle with uh, self-control. <clears throat> and so there's this really cool piece of research that I wanted to bring to your attention. It was written by Angela Duckworth and her cohorts. Angela Duckworth is a researcher with the University of Pennsylvania. She is my absolute favorite researcher on Earth, and she researches behavior. And... Um, her research is called Beyond Willpower, Beyond Willpower, Strategies for Reducing Failures of Self-Control. So Beyond Willpower, Strategies for Reducing Failures of Self-Control. And inside there, there are 22 different tactics, maybe it's 23, different tactics that you can use to reduce failures of self-control. It talks about everything from cognitive behavioral therapy to fresh start framing uh, and that kind of thing. My absolute favorite one in there is probably fresh start framing. That's the one that seems to work really well for me. Fresh start framing is where you can uh, say, okay, I'm trying to establish this habit or achieve this goal, but every time I make an attempt, I seem, I seem to fall off the track and I'm not sticking with it. And fresh start framing is basically like, okay, tomorrow's a new day. I can start tomorrow. The next hour is a new hour. I can start the next hour. Next month, next week, next year. All of those can be fresh start framing. The cool thing about fresh start framing is that it's, it's like hitting the reset button. Boop, boop. <laughs> it's like hitting the research, uh, the restart button. Well, it could be the research button too. It's like hitting the restart button on your, um, on your goal or habit that you're trying to accomplish. And um, uh, and so you, you can kind of start all over. The cool thing about it is the more that you do that fresh start framing, the more likely it is that whatever you're trying to achieve will come to fruition because you're going to learn so much. The alternative to that, to that is like you step into a goal and you say, I suck at this and you know, or I can't seem to establish this habit and I suck at it and I feel dumb and I'll never get it figured out. And so you give up and throw in the towel forever. That seems foolish, right? So what I would say is get back on track as quickly as possible. Check out that research um, by Angela Duckworth. You can also check me out, Christopher Lawrence, Certified Master Coach Practitioner, Life and Career Coach uh, at changemylifecoaching.ca. Talk to you later. Bye.